Boom. All right, what's up, you guys? It's Royce Jacob. Welcome back to the channel. In this quick video, I just want to talk to you guys about a few of my thoughts around the hyper growth sectors of the equity markets. So think Bitcoin miners, crypto equities, EVs, green energy, biotechs, all the stocks that we typically talk about here on the channel, because as I'm sure you're all aware, these sectors have been extremely unforgettable giving and uh, I'm sure you feel it and uh, your account balances definitely feel it as well okay so when we experience these hard times when we experience these slow times these these winners and in, in crypto it's called the crypto winner but um, as you guys know this applies to hyper growth sectors of the equity markets as well because they do act very similar to crypto anything that experiences bull runs these parabolic moves up these hype cycles these emotional rallies will experience that on the way down as well and when we get into these times of hardship um, i feel it's especially important to to zoom out Keep your eyes on the prize keep your eyes on the long game and uh, i also feel it's important to really stay in tune with the way you perceive the markets and to remind yourselves of the principles that are important when it comes to longevity as an investor okay so i want to share the frame of mind that i've been putting myself in lately um, and i want to do that by reading the intro or just the first part of the waves newsletter that i sent out on friday Okay, so uh, I did go over, uh, I, I felt that this was the appropriate content to cover as we closed out last week, Friday, March 4th. Uh, it doesn't really matter when you guys may be watching this, these principles apply to any time you're, you're having a down day or you're experiencing a bear market or a winter of some sorts um, within the financial markets. So it doesn't matter when you're watching this. As I read this, I'll try to make it past tense because obviously you're going to be watching it in past tense. So uh, let's just read through this again. This is just personally how I choose to frame things. I've, I've made a lot of, lo I've made a lot of money and I've lost a lot of money over the course of my career, and that's just the nature of the beast. And um, again, I just want to, I just want to read you guys this, and I'll let you do with this information what you will. But hopefully, if you've been having a hard time, this helps you out. Okay. So before we read, you guys really means a lot. I really appreciate it. If you, if you subscribe to the channel, join the Waves Fam if you're not already. Um, Give the video a like that helps out a lot too and let me know in the comments down below if you need a good old digital hug or if you just want to talk about the status of the markets no matter what you guys want to talk about look forward to talking to you downstairs okay so let's get to reading this um not friday whatever day you're watching this happy that day family it's not it wasn't the happiest day for the portfolio but you should never allow for a negative change in your account balance to affect your base level happiness baseline happiness base level whatever i know it can be tough at times but it's a skill that comes with going through hard times. My portfolio has gotten slapped in the face by the market plenty of times in the past. And unfortunately, these past couple of months have been one of those periods. And again, you guys, it's not just specific stocks. Like all the hyper growth stocks that I just hodl, I hold on, hold on for dear life to. Um, they're not huge positions, but they are fairly, they're not insignificant positions. Okay. And, uh, that's just how I play. You guys know, I do swing trade. I play the markets. I play momentum within the markets overall as a trader to try to optimize gains. But there, I, I do always hold positions in my favorite companies long-term and those hyper growth companies have gotten slapped absolutely smoked as i'm sure you all know by now okay <laughs> and it really doesn't matter like you don't have to be a stock picker to have your favorite hyper gross um see some pain like think about arc invest kathy woods etf which pretty much tracks uh that's pretty much the best tracker is like arc the the arc fund arkk and uh, the russell 2000 and both of those just over the past few months have gotten smoked so if you're if you're playing these hyper growth sectors there was literally no escape from it okay so, so no no matter what stock you're you're um you're holding don't feel like it's your fault just because the entirety of the sector has gotten obliterated okay so but that's just the reality of the market. These things work in cycles. When you experience an emotional and irrational rally to the upside like we did last year, good times, exactly this time last year, could not have been more opposite than the environment we're in now. But again, that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. You'll experience those same emotional and irrational movements just reflected. So again, emotional and irrational on the way up, emotional and irrational on the way down as well. That said, no matter how many times you've been through this as a trader, it still sucks. 
I'm not going to try to play off the fact that it doesn't piss me off a bit to lose at the game I love and take pride in and have to come and talk to you guys and admit I was wrong, which I'm perfectly fine with, but it's still, it still sucks. Again, you work so hard to be good at this. You work so hard to, to again, you want to be, I want to be, you want to be the best right it's not it's not reasonable to expect you'll be the best of all time I'm not gonna be larry fink of blackrock but just be the best version be as be as good as you feel you can uh be okay so that's that's just it sucks it sucks right when you lose losing sucks no one likes to lose and uh that's that's why i don't want to play off the fact that it does piss me off it does it does suck to go through these trying periods to go through these um these spurts of just losing you can't win there's sir i mean some of the videos i've made recently i'm like there is a hedge fund somewhere out there that is watching my videos and immediately doing the opposite of what i say just to make me look like a freaking idiot that's obviously not the case but that's how it feels sometimes and that's just that's just life that's just life you get back up and you get better and you'll learn because ultimately we're playing a long game here and it's best not to let the short-term hardships not don't let the hiccups affect uh don't don't let it scare you away don't let these little don't let these little like uh flash flash scares um spook you out of the party it's a weird analogy but you get it uh i do believe trying times are necessary for longevity and can be healthy when perceived correctly they put things into perspective and allow you to keep your ego in check the high flying times will be back but it may take a bit longer than many retail investors would like once the dragon goes into hibernation after a long flight he needs his beauty sleep but when he wakes back up he'll be ready to hit the skies once again cycles they're just the nature of the beast try not to stress yourselves team it's all part of the game so that's that you guys um again let me know in the comments down below if you've been having a hard time how you uh how you personally um cope with hard times if uh if this has scared you away from the markets if you got some cash on the sidelines which uh in retrospect would have been an amazing idea just what if you guys want to talk about again drop it in the comments down below and of course if you guys do want one of these bad boys in your email inbox every trading day and uh you want to know how i'm trading all of my favorite hyper growths and the markets overall you want literally every position in my entire portfolio uh call options put options stock positions crypto positions all of the above and uh i do update that every trading day during market hours and of course i do send out one of these puppies uh to your email inbox every trading day as well with uh letting you guys know how i'm coping letting you guys know what i think about the overall market environment and uh whatever i feel is important for the waves fam to know it really means a lot existing subscribers if you guys uh have been riding with me really means a lot it's easy to it's easy to do this stuff during the good times and everything's going up but it's a lot more meaningful and uh a lot more important i believe and uh, it speaks it really speaks to to the real ones again if you guys are still riding with me through the boring through the loss through again the hard times the trying times so uh, i appreciate you guys you guys are awesome and uh yeah, appreciate it if you guys uh, want to check it out. 15 bucks a month, 40 bucks for every three months if you're interested in uh, giving that a peek. First link in the description box down below. Um, and uh, yeah, I appreciate it, you guys. I appreciate you watching this video. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. So until then, always remember, take action, make waves. Peace.